Hey there, toy collector friends and Star Wars fans alike. In particular, Mandalorian fans alike, although there's hints of the original series, uh, original uh, trilogy in here as well. Uh, welcome back to the channel. I am the Triple TC, that's the Time Travelling Toy Collector, and today we are looking at two figures that I've recently picked up from the Vintage Collection, the Star Wars Vintage Collection, produced by Hasbro, um, using the old Kenner style. Um, those, some of you who are familiar with the channel will know that I used to be, I grew up as a child with Star Wars being my prime collection. That was the first thing I ever had as an actual dedicated, committed toy collection. I was very, very much all about collecting all the figures that I could, which was pretty much all of them. Um, and some of the vehicles, not that many, um, not as many as, as some of my friends at school had, but the ones I had, I loved. Um, and some of the figures that I adored were the droids, um, so I'm really pleased to now have an R5-D4. Uh, you may also have seen that I've started collecting the retro collection, but I've only done it so much so that they're in the box sets, the special limited edition box sets that have been released by uh, Hasbro. Um, sort of six six figure sets, um, re, re, reintroducing, if you like, those original Star Wars figures from the uh, late 70s, early 80s um, for the different movies. Um, so why, you may ask, have I got these two Mandalorian figures in front of you today? I'm glad you've asked that. Before I answer it, I would just pause to say, um, if you enjoy looking at toys, new toys, old toys, different toys, future toys, recently released toys, ancient toys, then you're in the right place and please do drop a like on this video. Similis similarly, similarly is not a word, please do not say it, people will laugh and point at you. Um, but similarly is a word, so I'll go with that one. Similarly, um, if you could drop a subscription to the channel, that would be super uh, appreciated. Uh, I promise you more often than not, I do use real words in the videos, um, more often than not. Um, but it would be great, it helps me get towards my next milestone. I'm not going to linger on this because you hear every YouTuber say it. Um, gosh, does that mean I'm a YouTuber now? Wow, hadn't even thought of it like that. But anyway, if you could, that'd be great. If you can't, not a problem, but it would be it would mean the absolute world to me. So anyway, back to the here and the now. Din Djarin, the Mandalorian himself, along with Grogu, oh, and R5-D4. Now, again, I've made a point of saying I'm not collecting Star Wars figures anymore because it's a black hole or a rabbit hole that I don't really want to go down because I'll end up wanting and needing to collect all of them. Um, so, as I mentioned, I collected, I've collected. i now picked up some of those um, retro collection figures in the box sets. And if you check out my Star Wars uh, collectibles and toys playlist, you'll have a chance to have a look at those. Um, but why have I got these? I've got these because I purchased from the Vintage Collection. It was one of my pre-orders. Um, that I felt myself get suckered into, although I'm very, very glad that I did allow myself to get suckered into it. Um, the Mandalorian N1 Starfighter, which is essentially a, a, a Nubian Starfighter um, from Naboo, uh, redressed. It, it's a bit more than that, uh, but it's it, it, from, the, from, a, from a storytelling point of view, that's what it is. Um, and it comes with a carded Mandalorian figure. And I've decided, because I haven't done a video on it yet, because I've not really fully unpacked it. I have, I have looked inside the box and got very, very excited and thought, oh, no, no, I need, I need the right amount of space and time to do this properly and do it justice. So, alas, I still haven't found either of those things. Uh, well, one of those things I've found, but the time, not so much. Um, but what I'm aware of is that it requires, obviously, the Mandalorian to fly it. It does come with its own Grogu figure, but it requires the Mandalorian to fly it. And it also has an optional component part that allows for the build your own or build a droid R5-D4 head to also, as it did in the series, um, feature in the back section in, in the astromech co-pilot area of the of the Starfighter. And as a result, I was like, well, the, the, the N1 doesn't come with that. And again, not to be all collectory about it, but... I kind of want to leave the carded Mandalorian that's, you know, unique to the M1 on its card. Uh, and I only, only bought one because at that stage I hadn't gone a bit mad. Um, so I thought, right, let me find an alternative option. And I did. And these two were going for very reasonable prices online. Um, 
I'm just trying to remember where I got. I think I got them both from In Demand Toy. I think I may have got one from In Demand Toys and one from eBay. But I actually, now I'm saying it, I may have got them both from In Demand Toys in the UK. Fantastic uh, array of, of figures and toys. Other online stores and, of course, physical stores are available. That just happens to be where I think I got these two from. Um, and I did that because I want to make... I, I'm, not, I'm not looking to leave my N1 Starfighter in its box. The box is lovely and we will come and look at it and we will do all of those things. Um, but I want it to be able to be presented practically. And for that, I needed a Mandalorian pilot. I get that it's not quite the right one. And, and the potential for a swappable R5-D4 head. Now, the R5-D4 is an easy win for me because I loved the droids. Of all the figures that I collected across my childhood as a Star Wars collector, the droids were the ones that I would return to time and time again and had the most fun with um, and, and enjoyed playing with the most. I think I was just had a robot obsession as a child, which may have then fed into my interest into Transformers. Um, which I suppose makes a degree of perfect sense. Um, and, and yeah, I'm just following that chain of thought through there. I, I won't do it now, but uh, maybe that's a discussion for another time about what other things that I like in terms of toy collectibles. Um, there, might, there may be a trend that I'm just beginning to analyse. But I, bought, I got both of these purely because I wanted something I could take out of the box uh, with impunity. And you know what? No sooner do I get these and I go, oh, the regret, because I love them. I love them on their little cards. Um, everything about them screams uh, the 70s and the 80s, which I adore with this. Now, again, they, they are vintage collection figures. They're not retro collection. Um, but the M1 is a, a vintage is a vintage collection vehicle. So that works as far as I'm concerned. Now, you can see here everything that comes in the box, along with Grogu. Um, I'm really bad because I'm not really sure what that is or what these things are. So I'm really hoping, although just we've got a swappable head, love a swappable head. Um, so I'm really hoping that the little instruction thing at the bottom, which I never usually bother to read, um, will give me all the information that I want. Um, back of the card, nothing particularly of merit or note there. Um, everything we're, we're accustomed to seeing. So let me pop that back there. And then R5D4, as I say, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad I've got this. The Black Series has, has released an R5-D4 along with um, a new R2-D2 with lots of attachments and accessories. And I'm so, so in love with them. I can't tell you. And it's, it's everything I wasn't going to do because I was so anti getting myself embroiled in collecting more figures, especially Star Wars figures, because I just there's just so many and I can't go backwards and start collecting them all. I just can't. Um, I need to remortgage. But I can dip in and get what I like. And this is something that I like. And the fact that I can transfer his use across to the N1 Starfire, uh, Starfighter even better. Now, interestingly, um, VC303 is the uh, number of this figure. Um, it has a slightly different card back. Now, I don't know whether this is because this was the Builder Droid release that's been now reissued this way and i think one of the reasons if i've understood uh, what, what i've read so far that it was reissued is to allow people to have access to it for the purposes of of that n1 starfighter so i'm really hoping that uh apologies if you just heard motorcycles racing past outside that's uh, the joy of living in the countryside um but i but uh, if it isn't then i don't care really because i'm just glad i've got the figure but it will be a little bit frustrating um i am obviously going to take these out i'm going to do an incision around the side using my craft knife like i've done on some other figures to maintain the majority of the integrity of the card and the bubble um for longer term display and well arguably uh, protection purposes so they can go back in and i can fold it across i won't re-glue it or anything like that it's just so it can hold it in place. Um, so that's a boring and possibly uh, high risk thing that I'm about to do there. So I'm going to do it off camera. Then I'll come back with these two figures out and proud um, from their card. Probably quicker than you can say. Uh, drop me a Death Star. Um, drop me a Death Star. Why would anyone say that? Anyway, I've said it now. OK, so I have no idea what insanity I was spouting about uh, Death Stars. So here we go. Here they are out of the packages. Um, it wasn't as smooth a ride as I've had with some other uh, packages, which is a shame. 
Um, but you know what? They had to come out, so you can't make an omelette without breaking some bubble packaging. Uh, they look great. I've, I've spent a little bit of time uh, messing with them. They are fantastic. And they both had, had features that I wasn't aware of, so they both took me by surprise. Now, again, I'm not going to do a full-on review of these figures because... I know you've probably seen other people do reviews of these figures. They're not brand new figures, so I'm not going to probably bring anything new to the table. I am going to say this. These inserts, waste of everyone's time. They just basically don't say, don't eat the small stuff. It'll kill you. Well, there's news. Doesn't tell me anything useful, so I might have to go away and find a, a, a YouTube reviewer uh, who can tell me something useful. Um, so let me start with what has to be my... Um, or, or what should be, by um, by my own expectation, my favourite. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more uh, into him for the purposes of this. Um, the detailing, in my day, of course, I say my day, but when I first got my R5-D4 and my R2-D2, etc., back in the, in, the, in the dark ages of the 70s um, and the 80s, it was just a sticker. We didn't have any of this fancy moulded and painted detail. Um, so already it's uh, it's a joy to behold but there are some wonderful apart from the, the obviously wonderful detailing and weathering because again the Mandalorian version of R5-D4 um, A gives him a bit more of a heroic role no spoilers um, but he's been through it you know this is post trilogy storytelling so he's been through it he survived and we can see you can well I hope you can see on here there is some lovely weathering sort of sandy weathering because of course he's residing on Tatooine um and Kenner uh, Kenner sorry um Hasbro are doing a big sort of return to Tatooine thing here in 2024 and probably into 2025 um and the new Haslab the cantina is part of that uh and I've I've backed it and so I've got that coming with again the carded figures more on that in the future but I absolutely love this. I love the wiring in the feet. So, yeah, let me talk to you about some of these things. You probably know about them. So, obviously, we've got the rotating head and we've got the articulated legs. I didn't factor in that we might have articulated feet, which we do, which is great because then that supports this. I didn't know, nor does it tell you anywhere. Oh, let me just... Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not destroying it. I promise. Um, it, you can pull it out so he can stand in his sort of dormant mode. Uh, or petulant mode, depending on how you, uh, you know, how you tend to perceive it, um, freely without being impaired, because he's got this uh, removable f sh um, extra third leg, which is nice. Um, it's a shame it couldn't push up inside, but I wonder, I'm assuming, I don't know much about the whole Builder Droid thing, but I'm assuming that's a throwback to that design. Um, similarly, and the thing that makes, that makes me happy, because it means I've got the right one, <laughs> is the head just literally, oh, it did a minute ago, yeah, it just literally pops right off so it'll fit into the D, into the uh, N1. And what I love is the detailing that's left behind. I mean, I feel really bad for him, actually, because that looks terrible. Oh, looks like he's got a dodgy motivator. Haven't we all? Um, but, yeah, so I'm really, really pleased that that was not a stressful um, piece of figure surgery. Um, and, again, as I say, I love the, I love the little detail of the removable foot um it's a beautiful beautiful little figure bang on for um uh r5 default i, I love it i love it moving on to gin uh this pistol i didn't see it was actually in his holster and i thought oh it's uh, it's just molded fiddled with it and lo and behold it's not molded it's it's a detachable that we uh, i didn't know was in there um, he hasn't got soft goods. Soft goods are in the N1. More on that in the future. Uh, so this is sort of that sort of soft plastic rubber stuff. Um, he's got uh, all the necessary um, posability, waist, uh, sort of waist, uh, knees, hips, a little bit on the feet as well, which is nice. Very little bit, but it's there. Um, elbows, arms, shoulders sort of a butterfly joint as well on the shoulders. Um, he's got his big rifle, which I've been able to attach uh, onto the back there. He did also, I'm going to stand him up. Well, actually, I won't bother. He also came with his back, his uh, rocket pack, 
which I didn't notice because it was actually already attached. So again, another feature that was tucked away. It fell off quite quickly um, and it turns out it doesn't attach particularly well, um, particularly when it's competing with this cape. Um, so, but it's, you know, it's nice that that was in the mix. So I'll, I'll, I'll just pop that back on there for now. Um, we also have, stand there for me for a minute again. We also have this very del delightful little Grogu um, with little feet. It's th similar, similar approach to the um, Grogu that we get in the, uh, uh, in the M1 Starfighter. This guy has uh, head rotation and some arm rotation as well. Only shoulders. Oh, and his arm's fallen off. Uh, it's on the smallest of ball joints, so it just clicks straight back in. So I'm not, uh, I, haven't, I haven't mortally wounded him. Uh, this canister, I'm not sure what this canister is. I can't remember it in the series. So folks, please let me know in the, in the comments below what the canister's for. It opens at the front, which is really neat. Um, and you can seal it. And it also, also the lid comes off. Um, it's not now going to do it, is it? It did it for me a minute ago. Uh, there you go. The lid, well, the lid opens, but it comes off, essentially. Um, which I'm sure is fantastic and really great screen accurate stuff. Um, but I'm not sure what it's for. I imagine it might be for these two things here, which I'm wondering if they're Baskar. I'm wondering if they're actually bits of Baskar. Um, but there's no clues on the figure or on the card or in that those pathetic non-instructions sheet. Um, so I'm thinking they could be Baskar and maybe they get kept in that jar. But because they're so small and fiddly, there is no way they're coming out from there at the moment. So they're staying safely in there. Um, and then another feature that we have here, which I've not done yet. I thought I'd save it for the camera so you can all laugh at how badly I do it. Let's just get his uh, arm out of the way. Is he also comes with an interchangeable head. Um, you know, this is one of those things that always makes me very anxious. This is where I think he comes with an interchangeable head. Well, I've popped that off and then we'll pop this one on and hope it works. Otherwise, that's all gone downhill very quickly. There we go. And it's not a bad likeness. There we are. There he is without his helmet on. So, yeah. And his hair's a bit lanky because obviously he's just you know taking his helmet off so that's quite nice he can't really carry his helmet uh particularly well because it's got a great big ball joint in it so nice that that would be i don't know whether oh maybe he could maybe he could um but certainly short term i don't think that's going to happen um but anyway i just wanted really let me zoom out so it doesn't look quite so peculiar um, and there's the mask. We'll put that down next to Grogu. Uh, I'm getting Django Fett vibes. If you know, you know. Um, let's go in a little bit closer. We can go a bit tighter on that, can't we? Um, so yeah, so I'm really, really happy that I've picked these up. Again, I'm not looking to go bonkers into collecting loads of Star Wars figures. Um, although I am very conscious that in a short space of time, my number of Star Wars figures has increased significantly um but uh yeah m basically I've, I've picked these up purely for their for their in interaction or what i'm perceiving to be their interaction with the n1 starfighter which i will get around to now doing a video on in the nearest in the near future so look out for that um again if you subscribe you should get a notification when that pops up um yeah i love them do let me know in the comments below what you think of the vintage collection You've probably told other people, but you've not told me. So tell me what you think of the vintage collection. Do you like it? Is it overpriced? These were not overpriced. These were very, very cheap. Um, and I'm talking, I'm talking less than ten pounds in the UK for one of them. Uh, so I'm, I can't complain about that. Um, so yeah, really, really happy with this with this set. Um, really, really happy with the range of uh, accessories and the features on R five D four. Obviously, they're not Black Series level, but I'm not paying Black Series level money for them. So I'm quite happy with that. And again, do let me know if you can. Am I right? Is that Baskar needing to be melted down? And is that what goes in this canister? Help me. 
help me YouTube you're my only hope uh, let me know let me know in the comments below I'm really looking forward to hearing from you anyway once again thank you so much for spending time with me I hope you do like the video uh, I hope you can subscribe to the channel do have a look around there's lots more here than just Star Wars and uh, I look forward to seeing you in a future or indeed a past video I've been the Triple TC that is the time traveling toy collector and this has been Hasbro under the banner of Kenner's Mandalorian figures Din Djarin and the wonderful R5-D4, and it just remains for me to say that things of beauty really are toys forever. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.